We're in Northcote Point in Auckland, New Zealand, in a very leafy suburb. And the apartment is uh, above the double garage. Previous to it being an apartment, it was um, what we kindly called a man cave. It really was uh, a storage space. The space um, was guided by the size of the garage. It's 36 square metres although it has pitched roof, so that adds some complications in terms of the, the usable space. This is a home for a couple. The gentleman is a, a big man, and this is a small space, so that had to be taken into account, and his wife, who is an artist. So really it was making a space uh, that was going to suit these two people for them to live in. One opens the door and there are some quite steep stairs, kauri stairs, they were a little rugged, so I decided to paint those in a dark charcoal to give them a sharpness and uh, a definition. And then we come into this very light space. It has a certain shadow about it, depending on the time of day, with the sort of a hazy white, with a bit of grey in it. Light matai flooring, it was very quiet, very peaceful. As we come up the stairs, we, we see immediately the, the pitch of the roof and the storage cabinets. Now, that was an obvious thing for me to put under the pitch of the roof. It's about a metre from the floor until we get to the beams. And this provided a perfect opportunity for storing the TV, which is opposite the seating area, and um, pretty well anything else. kitchenette has small appliances, um, a small oven come microwave and a refrigerator and a small very workable bench with a sink, one of the smallest that I could find that fits an oven tray and made sure that everything that was going in the oven also went in the sink. Uh, extra bench space could be used um, on top of the cabinetry or the dining table here if you needed extra uh, chopping space for instance. The seating area, my clients, they like to watch television, they're big music fans so they have a good music system in the cupboards and they're readers. So two comfortable mid-century chairs with some stackable tables here. My clients, he goes out to work, he might need to iron a shirt. So I've got a fold-out dining board. You know, I tried to think of how you'd go about your busy morning, domestics, uh, just making it simple and a few little clever tricks. And then behind there is the uh, queen-size bed uh, with lamps. Now the bed had to be put on a futon base um, because of the pitch of the roof. It uh, couldn't be a higher bed, so that, but that works perfectly well. Um, and opposite that, we've built a closet for all of their clothes and storage at the top. It seemed to be a good dividing space. The bathroom is quite a large bathroom. I call it a full-size bathroom. It doesn't have a bath, of course, but it's got a big shower and it's tucked away to one side. It's opposite the end of the bed, um, so it's not visible from your living space. The bathroom has also got storage that mirrors the storage out in the living space so that we keep a sort of a harmony about it. I've mentioned my client, um, he's a big man. I didn't want him to feel that he was in a compromised space. I think many people who would approach a small space might consider that they could have a, you know, a, a sofa that converted to a bed and, and whatever, and it wasn't my idea about the space. I quite liked the idea that they would come in and it was all here. They didn't have to do anything, they didn't have to pull anything down, remake a bed, whatever. It was all just here. It was very quiet, very peaceful. I think there's a huge future for these small spaces in terms of density in our city. I think that's what makes a city. I think it gives a tremendous energy to the city when we're all living fairly closely together. Um, my one comment about it was that we have to think very carefully about the integrity of the spaces that we expect people to live in. They have to be good spaces, they have to be quality spaces, but I think that that's the way of the future.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our Never Too Small channel by clicking on the logo and the notification bell to receive updates on our latest episode.